Hey, thank you. How's it look? Looks great. It hasn't used a drop of any kind of fluid the entire time. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what am I eating? <laughs> For breakfast recently, we've been getting really into instant oatmeal with peanut butter in it. Mm. Oh. It's mostly peanut butter, it which is, is mostly the way I butter. like it. But uh, yeah, breakfast of champions. Today's the Nullabore. Oh yeah, today's the day. We are the last, absolute last ones to leave the hotel. Um, we're not going very far today, only 180 miles. Yeah, we're, we're gonna... gonna try and take this slow because we want to actually see stuff. A lot of people mm -hmm. try and get across the Nullabore. In like a day or two? If you, yeah. if you drove straight, it would take like 20 hours. Yeah, so you could do it in two long days, but mm -hmm. I, we're going to take four or five. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stop a lot and see all the weird and like quirky things along the way. This is it. We just turned onto the highway and we're going to be on this road for the next couple of days. For the next week, maybe. The next week, maybe, yeah. Woo! So we just got gas. Our strategy for this trip is just kind of fill up at every possible station just to be safe. We have worked out this car so far has been getting 35 miles a gallon for us. So go Blueberry. Beautiful. I mean, it's higher than the, than the official ratings that it got. Bearing that in mind, we can go 550 miles, something like that. So range really shouldn't be that much of a concern here, mm -hmm. but we're going to fill up every, every, every town. Yeah. When we're on trips that are a little bit more complicated, I am definitely a person that needs to like handwrite our plan. So this is our cute little map that I drew up last night for our trip. And uh, we're following it loosely. I didn't, it's not very organized. I also was loading, um, <laughs> just looking some things up and I just ran out of service within the, the first two miles of this road. I so. looked at a coverage map this morning mm -hmm. and that's the last time we're gonna have cell phone service for the thousand miles. <laughs> but, so you know, I did download all the maps. So we're always gonna know where we are. So that's gonna be good. And we have hotels booked. Some hotels booked for this trip already. And most importantly, we have music. Yeah, we have music, we have podcasts. We're so set. She is stressed. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm definitely the warrior of the two of us. That's but... alright. Every every group needs a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The uh, the plan was to go to Fraser Range mm -hmm. Station. Apparently, it's a place you can go and see. There's like an overlook or something, and you can see. I think the world's largest hardwood forest, or one of the world's largest eucalyptus forests. Yep, but it's closed. Anyways, we're an hour in, and <laughs> so far so good. <laughs> so far so good. For those discerning eyes, you may have noticed in the last couple of videos that we've done some modifications to Blueberry. <laughs> modifications. Uh, we just got rid of the hubcats altogether. I didn't want to fuss with the zip ties because they were kind of, two of them were just disintegrating. This saves weight anyway, so oh my gosh. we can go faster now. Blueberry's looking a little naked, but we'll get some new ones on the other, other side of that little boar. <laughs> a little naked. We've undressed her. <laughs> Tia's putting it on the roof. The action cam? Yeah.
we're in Baladonia. This is the first settlement that we've run into for the last little over 100 miles. And <laughs> it seems like they have a museum, a gas station, a cafe, all in one. So you can just get it all out of the way. One stop shop. Are you hungry? Yes, definitely. Yep, there it all is. Motel, cafe, gas station, obviously, or petrol station, and a museum. So Tia excited. wants to go look at the Baladonia tourist tips board. <laughs> Like most of this tourist information board is for hotels in other parts of Australia. <laughs> but it looks like the Sky Lab, the what, NASA's NASA's Sky Lab, 1979 crashed here in Baladonia. I think that's what the museum's for, so. Another claim to fame. Do you wanna go look at it? <laughs> Apparently when pieces of the Sky Lab rained down here in Baladonia, the local government issued NASA a $400 fine for littering. We get to eat in the museum. That is so neat. And it's cool because they have like all these boards and talking about like the animals and the plants around here and some historical stuff back there, like what, what it's like to live on a homestead. Kind of like a random thing to find in the middle of nowhere, but. I'm here for it. What'd you get for lunch? Okay, so I got a chicken burger. I feel like we're getting kind of tired of sandwiches, or we're gonna get tired of sandwiches by the end of this uh, road trip, so we're trying to mix it up a little bit. Wait, I guess the burger is just kind of <laughs> yeah. like a hot sandwich, huh? That is honestly so good. It's like deep fried chicken with veggies and mayonnaise and then a nice warm toast bun. I'm just super content right now. I got an old fashioned regular beef burger. Also right behind me, this is a piece of the Skylab. Apparently when it crashed down, the next day Jimmy Carter rang the roadhouse here to apologize for crashing a spaceship <laughs> in their backyard. This museum is like very small, but it's done really well. Like you can tell someone put a lot of love and care into this. The real reason we're here though is to eat. I haven't had a burger in weeks. This is so good. <laughs> and the food's actually pretty affordable here. It was, my burger was $13 Australian. So that's like $9 US. That's pretty good, honestly. My burger had beets in it, which I think I recall a comment at some point telling us that Australians like beets in their burgers, and it was pretty good. Honestly, it sounds weird, but it was pretty good. I don't know why they would do it. It beats me. Oh my god. We decided that we're going to camp tonight and I think we're going to alternate between camping and staying at the roadhouses like the one we just left. Uh, and I, the one that we picked is uh, three, three, hours. Three, thank you, three hours away and the only thing that I can find between here and there that is like of note to like go stop and see is a road sign. So that's my job for the next three hours is just to keep our eyes peeled. We're going to keep eyes peeled for it. It's great, I love this.
This is so cool. Well, I think it's cool. One of us does. Look at this. <laughs> so cool. Right, well, this is a big there. runway. Yeah, it's an emergency <laughs> runway. We saw a sign. And Mike, the flies here are just... Oh my gosh. It's insane. For a desert, these, these insects are thriving. And yeah. we're not killing any of them with our windshield, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, they do say bugs are bigger in Australia, and these flies are like, some of them are massive. Back on the road. <laughs> We're on the longest straight road in Australia. How you doing? It's pretty straight. I think we should be to the end of it so far. We've been on it for close to an hour. It's 90 miles long. I guess that means we've got another hour in. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty straight. Are you bored? Yes. <laughs> we have already used half a tank of gas, so it's that time again. Every time we make a stop, Trio goes out and checks the oil. Just like that. <laughs> I'm glad he's being really careful. It looks like it's four o'clock and we'll, we have just under two hours left, so we're gonna hit our campsite right as the sun is setting. It's gonna be perfect. We made it. <laughs> We're at our campsite after just over 500 kilometers actually. Six hours total. Yeah. Anyways, this campsite is awesome. It's totally free. Mm -hmm. We found it on the... The wiki camps? The, the wiki app. camps. Yeah. Tia found it. Mm -hmm. Absolute legend. <laughs> Look at Check this. this out, you guys. There are some people camping, but most part, like everyone has their own little space, and you just hear the crickets and yeah, cicadas or crickets. I'm not sure what those are. Yeah. They sound beautiful, though. Mm, it's really peaceful. It's so nice. All right, you want to see our tent? camp tour? <laughs> <laughs> not much has changed since our last camping adventure. There are some upgrades. But we did. I yes. just spent 30 minutes on that. <laughs> so yeah, Trio just. <laughs> spent 30 minutes on this really nice upgrade that we decided to splurge on. Thank you. Thank you. You are the legend tonight. Even though it took him twice as long as he didn't realize. No, I'll show you. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Ooh! Do you notice anything different? <laughs> we decided that last time was so uncomfortable on the ground that we splurge on this Australian king size air mattress. I don't even know if the both of us are gonna fit on it. It did say king though. It's a but king single. King single, yeah, well, I don't even know what that means, but it fits perfectly. It's a foot pump, which is great. And the reason why it took Chibi 30 minutes is because he didn't realize the plug on the other side was open and he was just standing there and looking like a little, a little silly goose. Let's show them the updated uh... The pillows. Oh the yeah. Upgraded pillows. Last time we used our jackets. Yeah, last time we used these jackets, which uh, they weren't that great because they, they were like this thin. But instead, these are our packing cubes wrapped in pillowcases. Perfect. Oh my gosh. And I also downloaded like 10 movies on my iPad. So we're just going to sit in here after dinner and just watch movies. Friggin' millennials. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yesterday we mentioned that uh, today was going to be our anniversary, and we've been, it has been seven years mm -hmm. since we first met today. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's, we're like old now. <laughs> so a few days ago we got wine. <laughs> the finest wine on sale. And uh, a few days ago also, a coffee house double cupped our cups, and Tia immediately said she was going to save these spare cups for a special occasion. And what more of a special occasion is this? We also got some ham sandwiches. Tia made these up. Uh, we bought a kilo of ham, so we're going to get used to this on the Nullivore. But, uh, hey, cheers. Cheers. Being the perfect partner. Mm. Ooh, honestly, that's not bad. You like it? I like it. It's very good. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How'd you sleep last night? The air mattress was the best $30 investment. I'm so happy. It, like, honestly elevated <laughs> the sleeping experience. I slept like a baby. 
It was so nice and there were uh, <laughs> crickets or cicadas mm -hmm. just doing their thing all night and it was so peaceful. Occasionally there was a truck like that but yeah. I slept right through it. It was so nice. Mm -hmm. We're having tea time. It doesn't look like much, but we don't have a stove to make coffee, so I soaked tea bags in a old Gatorade bottle full of water last night. So the camping space, or the camping area that we stopped at last night, it turns out it's just a really big wooded area with like very loosely defined camping spaces. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's so pretty back here. It's cool because like we were driving past this type of landscape all day yesterday, so it's cool that we actually got to stop and be in it for a second. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna go pack up though. And take a left here. Today's end goal is the border village, which lies, I mean, right on the border. It's two hours and stuff here. It's only really a short drive today. Yeah, and we're gonna try and see sand dunes today. Trying to find those sand dunes, and uh, Google took us onto this dirt road. It's weird not having a whole bunch of like uh, a reception to do more research as we're as we're going, so we're just kind of winging it. I think it's awesome. It's so nice not knowing what's ahead of us. Mm-hmm. Just kind of stuck in the sand. This isn't good. Yep. Sorry. That's not your fault. It's not. I was. I was the one driving. But there's gravel just like ten feet over here, so we just need to move it a little bit. Yeah, that was that was my bad. No, it wasn't. I'm sorry. I'm the one that was driving. I'm navigating though. I should have though. seen the sand. It it just like the sand kind of snuck up on us, and then uh, <laughs> we're we're a little bit stuck. No. So this sand right here is on top of the dirt road here, and this is all gravel. Yeah, it looks like the sand dune blew into the road, and uh, that's where we got stuck. But that's where we got stuck. The people behind us were in a huge camper, and they were right behind us, and they said that they were thankful that we got stuck first because they were just about to drive over the part that we just did. And then a guy in a proper four-wheel drive uh, SUV came along and saved us. He he towed us out. So yeah. we're not gonna go any further. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna go further. We're just gonna walk. They say it's three kilometers up here, so we got water and all that stuff. And yeah. we're gonna go find these sand dunes after digging ourselves out of some sand dunes. <laughs> I feel like the ocean used to be like way out here because there's like uh, all the broken bottles are all smoothed down and there's a whole bunch of like clamshells and stuff. This area is super isolated and deserted. I mean we're walking to this deserted jetty and we've been walking for two kilometers now maybe and there's every once in a while you see like the remains of road that must be 50, 70 years old. Like. Yeah very old road that's just being consumed by nature and covered in sand and it feels like we're walking back in time. <laughs> all those warnings about all the serial killers in Australia. Oh <laughs> my god, Tia. There it is! Yeah, there it is. I can't tell if the coolness of this entire scene is coming through or not 
But this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Just this abandoned jetty, completely in the middle of nowhere, uh -huh. on this sandy beach that could not be more isolated. I don't know the story of like why this is like this, you know, what happened to this area to make it like Yeah, this. it's so cool. Tia for scale! <laughs> Oh, hang on. There she is. There's Tia for scale. There's a good sized jetty at one point. Another thing that makes this scene so cool is back here, you can see the beginning of the cliffs and it's the world's longest continuous sea cliff. I don't know if, is this what they call the Great Australian Bight? I don't know. We would look it up, but we have no service. So yeah, had, yeah we also guys, don't know how old the jetty is. So <laughs> by the time we post this, we'll know the answers to all this stuff, but not right now. And there's also the sand dunes, which are a few miles from here. We're not gonna walk there. Just not feeling it right now. Yeah. But our hotel's back there a few miles. We made it! This is uh, the biggest bit of civilization I think we're gonna see. Yeah. That, like this restaurant here and stuff was much more developed. So this is Border Village, which, you know, we were saying is the, the, on the border of West and South Australia. And tomorrow we actually start the part, like the main Nullarbor that doesn't have any trees or anything. I didn't realize it was two days of driving mm -hmm. just to get to that point, but man. But uh, cool. we're in desperate need of some showers and some food. So we're going to go do that. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for coming with us. Subscribe. The real reason we stopped was so that Tia could pee. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. <laughs> you look so dumb. You can open the, uh, just ask if I childproof it. Yeah. You just unzip it like a, like normal. Wow, that's, I don't know if I poured really yeah, good that, or I not. Yeah, I can't tell if that was a lot or not. I'm like a human gimbal right now. Marks, this town marks the halfway point between Adelaide and Perth, right? No. Oh, it's a different one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's restart. Okay. <laughs>